So far we've created a quiz, we've created a discussion board, an assignment, as well as an ask a question discussion board where students can ask questions about the topic. We've got a lot of things, but we haven't knitted them together yet. However, Canvas has done this for us. If we click on student view, we can see that when the student comes into our course, they have the discussion, week 10 on memory, 10 points to April 1st, critical thinking questions, 10 points to April 4th, and the quiz, week 10 on memory, one point due April 4th. If they go to the calendar view, it'll show them that, hey, here we go, on uh, the April 1st, Wednesday, our discussion is due. Here's the quiz, the critical thinking. If they click on the critical thinking, then they even can see what it looks like inside the course, and they can choose to go directly to it. So the elements that we've created are all there present. If we go to syllabus, again, here are all the assignments and when they're due, and they can click to go directly to it. As an instructor, sometimes we want to create a module that includes the lecture portion. Often we think, hey, that's a really important portion. And yet, when Canvas creates all these different views for the students, none of the links will be to your content. Because unless you make it worth points, it doesn't show up in the syllabus view. It doesn't show up on the calendar view. It doesn't show up on the to-do list. And so it's really easy to create content that students will never see unless it's tied to something with points. That's one of the reasons why we were sneaky in terms of the critical thinking questions. Uh, we added in the content right here as part of the directions. But let's say we wanted to create a module that would organize everything uh, together, including the, the content that the student needs to, to study. So I'm going to head over to Modules. I'm going to click on Plus Module, and we'll call this Module Memory. Add Module. And then Plus, and we'll add in our assignment, the critical thinking questions. We'll add in our quiz, uh, week 10 memory, and we'll add in our discussion board. Oops, let me make sure I click on the plus here. We'll add in our discussion board. There we go. And we can also add in the lecture component. So click on plus. I'll see if we're going to create a page a new page, and we'll call it uh, the memory content there. Okay, click on it, and I'll edit it, and let's actually change it to uh, memory, uh, or change it to introduction to memory. All right. And let's say we want some of our, our content there. So I'll head over to our assignments. And as you recall, we had our content there. And I'm gonna try something that, sadly enough, will not work. Watch, I have copied what I want. I come back on over, I paste it, and it looks really messy, doesn't it? So I'm gonna do Control Z which undoes that. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to go to, what's, to the HTML editor. And I'm going to highlight everything. Control C to copy it. And I'm going to then just close it. Come back to my um, introduction to memory. Go to HTML editor. Highlight everything. Control V to paste it go to reach content editor. And then I'm just gonna delete the stuff that I didn't care about. So if that was more than you bargained for, you can just ignore that and hand type everything, but it is kind of a nice way to um, get material over when it's, it's not copying and pasting very well. 
using the HTML editor. All right, so I've got the resources. I should probably have an introduction, right? So let's see here. Go ahead and type in here an introduction. And we'll make it a, a header four. And type something here. Okay, so let me make this a little bit wider. So now we've got our introduction, our learning objectives, our assigned resources, a list of our activities, and a note to student to click the previous and next buttons to move through the module. And I'll go ahead and click Save and Publish. And so we have looks pretty good here. Uh, we'll add another page where we can have our guest lecture, Elizabeth Loftus, uh, present to our students. To do that, I'm going to go back to the modules view. And I'm going to move our introduction to memory to the top of the module. And the discussion, which has an earlier deadline, next. And I'll go ahead and add in another page where we'll have um, our guest lecture. So, um, memory guest lecture. Cool. And add item. And I'll move that right after my introduction to memory. And click to edit it. All right, I'll click edit. And I should kind of tell students why they're going to watch this and what they should watch for. Okay, so I have here Elizabeth Loftus as a world-renowned memory expert, focus on the topics of eyewitness testimony and false memories. As you watch this presentation, focus on dot, 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 so whatever I want them to focus on, and then view Elizabeth Loftus's TED Talk. So here's the TED Talk. I can go ahead and look for the link that I can share. That's right here, so share, and grab the link, copy link, head back to my course, highlight it, remember do the control K, paste it, open a new window, and I'm done. And save and publish. Now, let's say I wanted to embed her talk rather than just have the link open it. And I could go back, edit it. And again, this is more for those uh, daring people who want to try something a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to go to where it says view Elizabeth Loftus's TED Talk, and I'm just going to put a bunch of X's here. And then I'm going to go to Elizabeth Loftus here, and I'm going to grab the embed code. So again, you don't have to do this. This is just if you want to. I'm going to come back to our uh, canvas. I'm going to go where it says HTML editor. I'm going to click on that. And you see where all these X's are? I'm going to highlight the X's. And I'm going to control V paste. I don't even want to try to understand it. I do a little bit, but you know, just paste it in there. Click back on rich content editor. Look at that. It looks nice. And then click save. So I could just provide the link, or I could embed it. Frankly, the best thing to do is both. So I would uh, go ahead and come down here, and let's see. And so below the embedded uh, video, I could say view web page with Elizabeth Loftus's TED Talk. And again, I can just grab the uh, URL like I did before. There you go. Link. Copy link. Come back. Sorry. Come back here. Highlight. Control K. Paste it. Target new window. And now I got I got both. All right. And just delete anything else. And click save. So there we go. The trick with the embed code, it can be a bit challenging. So if it works for you, awesome. And if it doesn't, you know, the link definitely is, is sufficient there. So now we come back to modules view. <clears throat> We've got our module ready and I can 
publish it. And now students see the whole module together. But keep in mind, our introduction and our memory guest lecture, they will not appear in the calendar. They will not appear on the syllabus. Students will only know that this exists if they come to the module view. And so that is one of the challenges when you try to put your instructional content outside of the, um, the graded material. One trick that you could do is you can right click where it says introduction to memory and say copy link address. And now you can go into the discussion for week 10 and edit. And we could put here at the very top um, view uh, welcome message for week 10. And then highlight it, control K, URL, new, new window for target. And then copy this and save. And now when students come into the discussion, let's say they come into it from the calendar, right? You know, they go on calendar view, they go to the discussion, they can view welcome message for week 10, and that takes them right to start. So we could put that link at the start of each of our graded assessments so that no matter which graded assessment they come in on, they have the ability to go directly to the first page in our module. So it's kind of a sneaky way to put it in there, but then that way you don't have the clueless student not realizing that you had an introduction to the content for them uh, ready and waiting. All right, hope you find that helpful.